Hey guys, how's it going? Coming at you with another video review here. This one of Transformers Generations uh, Scrap Knoll and Reflector. Uh, we're just starting off with the front of the package here. We got a real nice, uh, I actually really like this one. We got a nice big piece of artwork of uh, Scrap Knoll, or I'll just call him Shrap Knoll there, and uh, looking pretty good. And there he is, uh, packaged in robot mode along with his little buddy reflector there and on the back we got our wonderful obligatory product shots tech specs and uh, bio and um, that's it on the packaging uh, I will be right back with this guy out of packaging we'll see what he's like okay guys here I have Scrapinal out of the package and into his uh, insect mode and he's got a little, his little buddy reflector with him is actually uh, mounts on him in his uh, bug mode for um, for storage. So right now he's like a little spy, uh, spy beetle or whatever. So there you go. Let me go ahead and just peel reflector off of him. There we go. And we'll just take a more detailed look at the main figure alone. And, uh, yeah, he looks pretty good in his bug mode. Uh, I do like it. It's uh, very G1-esque looking uh, Insecticon here. You know, pretty neat overall. Here he is with his uh, G1 self, actually. Original G1 shrapnel, of course. And uh, as you can see there pretty close in size with each other um, you know more or less they seem to pretty much be in the same size class um, but there is one major difference and the G1 Insecticons had wheels on them so they could roll kind of like vehicles which I think is kind of a nice touch whereas it seems nowadays they're trying to make them look more like actual um, robotic insects with legs um, I like both ways, um, you know, I don't think either one's bad, you know, I, I, I don't know which I prefer, the wheels or the legs, I, I think both are, you know, valid approaches to this, but anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and grab the rest of the G1 Insecticons, that way you can see that he fits in, uh, pretty nice with the group overall, you know, he goes with them well. Uh, in bug mode, and it's the same in robot mode, which we'll be getting to, but, you know, overall, it's, uh, you know, it, it's a good pairing. So let me go ahead and get these guys off to the side here. Uh, as far as articulation in this mode, there really isn't much. Uh, all, that, all that you can really adjust as far as that goes is his uh, mandibles can open and close. Um... And that's pretty much it, but, uh, you know, he's well detailed in this mode and just uh, good looking overall. Um, is it perfect? No. And I do think I prefer the look of G1 Shrapnel in insect mode a little bit more. Uh, I guess because it's more like of an abstract... <laughs> They're not trying to really make him look like an insect is more ab like an abstract vehicle mechanical thing whereas this is going more for a pure insect look and with the, pro the proportions bug me a little bit in um, bug mode but you know not terribly I mean it's 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 still decent bug mode it's it's not bad um, it's not as good as the other uh, recent insect theme transformer we got waspinator but it's certainly not bad um, you know, overall pretty good. Anyway, that's pretty much going to wrap up his uh, bug mode. I'll be back in a flash to go over robot mode. Alright guys, here we have Scrapnel transformed it into his uh, robot mode. I'm just going to go ahead and start off. We're going to do some comparisons. Uh, first pair him up with the rest of his Insecticon buddies here. And as you can see, he's uh, roughly the same size scale with them, and he fits in real well, I think, with the uh, G1 Insecticons in robot mode, just as well as he did in bug mode. The colors match up, uh, and they just they look good together. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get the uh, 
let's go ahead and get uh, bombshell and kickback out of the way here and kind of just compare and contrast the uh, G1 figure with the uh, with with the Legends class toy here and it is pretty obvious um, you know they, they did a really good job I think uh, homaging the uh, G1 character here um, you know you can see in a lot of ways he's kind of just uh, an improved version of this guy um, one thing I really like on this guy though is the chrome on the mandibles I understand though in a budget toy they're probably they're not gonna put chrome on it like they did the original G1 toy um, you know but the face here let me uh, zoom in a little bit so I can talk about their respective faces as you can see here on the uh, original G1 toy we got a nice uh, visor going on and Let's get him up, ready for his close-up. He's got a visor as well. It's a little tougher to see. Let me just see if we can get a little closer here. Come on. There we go. He's got a nice visor too, so that's pretty cool. And just the uh, overall design aesthetic definitely seems to be similar on these two toys. And I just think that's a nice touch. Um... Anyway, uh, next little homage piece to the original toy is, just find the, there it is, there's the right gun. This is the G1 uh, figure's gun. Just go ahead and arm him up. And uh, the little guy Scrapnel comes with, our good buddy uh, Reflector of the camera, He has uh, he's a target master and he uh, transforms into gun mode. You just do that by... Uh, basically flipping the camera lens down and he folds down and there you go that see similarities there the triple kind of barrel thing going on you got that going on with reflector as well so that's a nice little touch I think uh, with reflector you know now I'm gonna talk a little bit more about reflector here just in general um, he doesn't have too much of a transformation since I, he's a target master or a whole lot going on, but I'm glad they included him. Uh, as far as his articulation goes, he's got arm, arm movement. That's it. Uh, he's relatively well detailed. Uh, he's got a nice um, camera lens there. He's got a nice little visor. Um... And his camera mode is just, uh, is this basically, the only nitpick I have is the fact that the, uh, you know, his handle, which folds out, uh, is on the lower side. So if you put it, if you put it in Scrapnel's hand, you know, he's holding it upside down. It's a minor complaint, but, you know, it's there, um... Yeah, that that pretty much covers Reflector, though. I mean, in the trans, like I said, he transforms into a gun, and that's pretty much it. That's that's Reflector. Now we'll talk a little bit more about Scrapnel. Uh, he has real good articulation, as you would expect. His uh, knees are on ball joints. Uh, top of his legs, ball joints. Does not have any waist articulation. Shoulders are on ball joints and elbows are on ball joints. Uh, his head does uh, rotate. So, obviously, pretty poseable little Legends figure here. Um, real good looking. I'll go ahead and give you a, a view from all angles here. You know, he's a little bit busy going on in the back there. Definitely busy in the back, but from the front he looks pretty good. Um, I definitely uh, like this toy quite a bit. Um, you know, I, I'm fine with the fact that he's not a deluxe. I, I like this size class uh, for the Insecticons because it fits in so well with the G1 Insecticons. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about this toy. Uh, if you like him and you see him, pick him up. Anyway, that's pretty much going to wrap this whole thing up. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time.